With everything else that's going on in the Metropolitan Police, it would be easy to overlook some of the other issues that they have going on, such as the recent debacle of strip searching children. But although that might get lost in all the noise of David Carrick and how the Met are going to be doing what they can to make sure it doesn't happen again, although I'm sure I've heard that before in hundreds of times, I've quoted them saying, we will learn from the mistakes, but yet still go on to repeatedly make them. A Metropolitan Police Sergeant and three police constables have been issued with misconduct notices by the IOPC in connection with a complaint that was received, allegedly, following a search of a 15-year-old girl at Woolworth Police Station, Kennington, on 11th of December 2022, just a week after Child Q was subjected to the same treatment. Now, this isn't something that's just come to light, by the way. This is one of the strip searches that the IOPC have been investigating after it and others were referred to the IOPC following public outcry over the Child Q case. The IOPC said in a statement that we can confirm that four Metropolitan Police Service officers have been served misconduct notices as part of our ongoing investigation. A police sergeant and three police constables have been served notices in relation to the arrest and detention of the child who was strip searched by Metropolitan Police Service officers. Our investigation began following a referral in May 2022. The serving of misconduct notices does not necessarily mean disciplinary proceedings will follow. Due to the sensitivities surrounding this matter, we cannot provide any further information at this time. So while everyone is going off their head at Carrick and with Wayne Cousins still in the minds of the public, let's not forget that although they were the perpetrators of heinous offences, they were essentially allowed to carry out their offences by the Met because they failed to act, just like they seem to be failing to act over these strip search situations. As I've said before, strip searches are sometimes necessary, but they should never, in regards to a child, be carried out without an appropriate adult who either has the child's best interests at heart or who knows the law. It really is looking like the police service is a role for perverts and pedos these days, and that's exactly what you get for allowing them to go unchecked for so long and allowing them to start thinking and behaving as an armed militia rather than members of the public tasked with ensuring law and order.